How do you explain what's it all about? Well, it's all about consumers, and technology is driving changes in behavior and preferences for consumers, and uh, it's changing rapidly. Things are going digital, and digital is enabling consumers to have more power than ever before. There's more content on the planet than we've ever had, but consumers are in control, and that's the important thing to know for any marketing or business organization. So, and um, how would you say this applies to things like what they call SMAC, social, mobile, analytics, and cloud? So the interesting thing is if you go to any event, there's social, mobile, analytics, and cloud, personalization, all of these types of things, all buzzwords. But the deal is there's transformation going on across the board, but it goes back to the consumer is changing their behaviors and preferences. And, and so if you were going to advise a CEO at a large company who said, hey, i, I got to get into this digital game, what would be... What would be the thing you'd tell them? So first of all, understand what digital is. There's a lot of rules, a lot of buzzers as we talked about, a lot of technologies. So go out there and get a general understanding of the digital landscape. And then I would recommend to go very deep with your customers. So customers now are most likely interested or at least checking out social to some extent as they're going through the buying process. They're doing a lot of things online get into their shoes and see what their view is because whereas we're separated by departmental organizations within our businesses, our consumers to them, um, it's, it's a wash. They can see everything across the board and it's a seamless experience. So understand what they're doing, how they're receiving their information, how they're walking through their, their, uh, their buyer's journey. That's the starting point, I think, for any customer. And then once you do that, then you can figure out all of these buzzwords and how they fit together and how consumers are using that to create their buying experience and how they're transforming their bikes, buying experience going forward. Customer centricity. Now, yeah. just, to, just to conclude with, um, does this also apply to B2B? How is that? Because most people, I think, see this as working well between B2C, but maybe not as much with B2B. Yeah, so um, in my former employer, which is a B2B company, as is Bizarre Voice, um, I al always got that question, and I would always say, hey, when a CIO goes and is researching something, do they ever use Google? The answer is yes, which it probably is. Then Google's algorithm is based on connectivity, social mobility, et cetera, that cuts across um, the Internet. The deal about B2B is it's very similar to B2C, other than the buying cycles are longer and more complex, but the thing that a lot of B2B marketers forget about is B2B is actually still made up of humans. So there's the logic you have to fit in and the business case, but at the end of the day, everybody buying your goods and services, they have an emotional connection, which is about usually their success, the success of their company, and that's what you have to build in, and that's very similar to B2C. Awesome. Scott Anderson, thank you so much.